Hello, we are going to do this lab over here. As you can see, I have a Cisco router, um, two Cisco routers actually, um, one or two Cisco switches and this Docker um, Firefox browser, um, which I'm using to log in into the Palo Alto Networks firewall. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be configuring um, interfaces right i'm going to be configuring zones i'm going to be configuring policies and i'm going to be configuring a lot of stuff um, to make this work and i'm going to for now let me go ahead and mark this as the inside and the outside actually this one is 192.168.1.1 let's go ahead and duplicate this so you can see the zone that i'm going to be creating so the outside zone, inside zone, then we have to create a policy to allow the zone from the inside to the outside to go in there. So let's go ahead and start. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a layer three interfaces on Ethernet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2. 1 slash 1 outside, 1 slash 2 the inside network. So let's go ahead and configure that. Um, and also all my my two Cisco switches have the, their IP address configured and they have a default route to go to um, either to interface one slash two or interface one slash one. Just letting you know. So what's going to happen is this inter internet interface one slash one, this one right here, needs to have a layer three interface type. The virtual router it's going to be the default router. Um, the security zone, we are going to create a new one and it's going to be the out zone. That's why I'm just going to call it out. Let's see if it's going to let me add my, it's not there. So we are not going to add that later because for some reason it's not let me add it. Um, it's going to let me add it after I configure this interface um, as a layer three. And then it's going to identify that it is a layer three, right? So over here we need to want to add a new IP address. 20 at one, one, one slash 24. Good. Add that right here. Click OK. Go back into that interface. Um, and what I want to do is we want to add a security zone. Now it's, it should recognize it as a layer three, right? Because we want to add a layer three. It's going to be called out because it's going to the outside. And if you add a network interface, you can see now that the Ethernet 1 slash 1 is being recognized as layer 3. Click OK. Then I want to go to advance and I want to add a. Let me see what you want to add. Actually, config default. You want to add a management profile. We are going to create a new one. We are going to call this ping and I want to allow ping. What this is going to do is it's going to allow ping to this interface one slash one. And that is for troubleshooting purposes to make sure that it is on and that it is working. Um, press OK. So we are done with that. Now we need to configure one slash two. And this one is going to have a different IP address. Um, so we need to do a layer three. We are going to be using the default. We are going to create our own zone. We're not, we don't want to put it on the outside. This one is going to be inside. Let's see if it recognizes it. It is not recognizing interface one slash two. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's go ahead and add an IP address and see if 192. Slash 24. Good. Let's go into advance. And in advance, we are also going to add that management profile that we added on interface one slash one ping so we can allow ping to that interface and let me see if now it is recognizing it as a layer three yep, you see it's not recognizing it so let's go ahead and cancel press ok then we are going to go back and we are going to create that zone and add that zone to this interface 
there we go new one this one's going to be called the inside we are going to add it and now it's being recognized good okay we have everything configured press ok so we are done configuring the interface one slash one and one slash two has a layer three interface so we can um, ping each other so after that is done what you want to do is you want to go into virtual routers and inside right here we want to create a static route we want to create a new one so we are able to ping this router 4 from router 5 or from router or from router 4 to router 5 and router 5 to router 4 so this one's going to be let's just call it outside you can um, name it whatever you want destination is going to be a default so any IP address the interface that it's going to be at is going to be one slash one um, the next half is going to be 20 that one that one that two which is the IP address of router 4 and that is set press ok ok and after that is done since we have two different zones we have zone in and zone out it is a inter inter zone um, traffic and since inter zone traffic is denied by default we need to go ahead and allow that so for us to allow that we need to go into policies and after you go into policies you want to go ahead and create a new one you want to name it uh, let's name let's name it ping outside and what you want to do the source from where the traffic is going to come from you can add a new zone right so it's going to be zone in and the destination is going to be zone out you can do the application that you want to um, block or add or, or you can add any applications right here either um, HTTP or whatever you want to add over here and then the action that you want to do either to deny allow drop reset client reset server or reset both client and server we want to just set it to allow and also if you want to log at start session and log at at session end you can do that I'm going to just check both just because I want to press ok and after you do that you can see that it's going to be on top and since it's going from one to three um, the first one is going to be applied first and then the second one and then the third one but if the first one matches the traffic it's just going to apply the first one if it doesn't match it's going to apply the second one the second one doesn't match it's going to apply the third one commit and we are now committing or saving our configuration because if you don't save your configuration it is not going to be applied it is not like in a Cisco router and a Cisco firewall whenever you configure it it's going to be applied as soon as you configure in Palo Alto you actually need to commit it for you to be able to use your configuration close that's done let's go ahead and open router 5 and from router 5 what we want to do is we want to ping 192.168.1.1 which is this Palo Alto firewall we are able to do that I'll be able to ping 20.1.1.1 we are able to do that I'll be able to ping 20.1.1.2 oops we need to do ping and we are able to do that so this is it for this video thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.